today we have two people who will receive what is the highest award at Virginia State University. First, I would like to first recognize and ask to come up uh, Dr. Alma S. Adams, the Honorable Congresswoman Alma Adams, please. I'm going to read the resolution so that you can understand why at Virginia State University we are thankful for Dr. Adams and all that she has done. Whereas Dr. Adams received her bachelor's degree in 1969 and her master's degree in 1972, both from North Carolina A&T State University and both in art education. She received her PhD in art education and multicultural education from Ohio State University in 1981. And whereas Dr. Adams was a member of the Greensboro City School Board from 1984 to 1986, as well, and, as well, and the director of the Steel Hall Art Gallery. She was also a member of the Greensboro City Council, she was a Greensboro City Council member, excuse me, from 1987 until her appointment to the House in 1994. And whereas Dr. Adams represented the state's 58th House District in Guilford County in North Carolina's General Assembly from her appointment in April 1994 until her election to Congress. She won the 2014 special election in North Carolina's 12th Congressional District, becoming the 100th woman serving in the 113th Congress. She won the election to a full two-year term at the same time. Dr. Adams is the second woman of color to represent North Carolina in the House. And whereas, Dr. Adams is a member of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, the Congressional Black Caucus, and the Congressional Arts Caucus. And whereas, Dr. Adams serves on the Committee of, on Financial Service, the Committee on Education and Labor, and the Committee on Agriculture. She holds several leadership roles as the Assistant Whip for the Democratic Caucus, the Chairwoman of the Committee on Education and Labor Subcommittee on Workforce Protections. Her signature legislative accomplishment in Congress is the ena enactment of H.R. 5363, fostering undergraduate talent by unlocking resources for education, the Future Act, that permanently provides funding total $255 million a year for all minority serving institutions, including $85 million for HBCUs. Dr. Adams, throughout her career, has promoted quality education for students, sponsoring and advancing numerous pieces of legislation to boost funds for HBCUs. And it's not here, but Dr. Adams served 40 years as a professor on the campus of Bennett College, which is one of the other reasons why she is committed to HBCUs. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the honorary doctoral degree shall be awarded to Dr. Alma Adams be it further resolved that a suitable copy of this resolution be prepared and presented to Dr. Alma S. Adams. Mr. Provost, please help me hood our newest doctor from Virginia State University. <laughs> 